Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, I got a package in the mail, and I also got back from seeing my brother in another city, and they have a really nice uh, surplus store there. So I did pick some stuff up. I didn't go too crazy though. Um, I'm gonna do the package first. And this is from Wish. Make sure you guys are able to see. Um, okay. Quite sure what this is. Okay. I think that's everything in there. Yeah. Okay, I did order this. It came late and it is free since it came late. So, um, quick install guide so this is a um, uh, antenna for my tablet turning it, it into a TV and uh, yeah that's kind of awesome I didn't realize how small this thing is so here it's a micro micro USB and then it has an aerial that extends okay cool so this gets does that screw in or what is that oh it just pushes in and then I have my tablet right here I'm guessing I need an app. We'll find out. So I'll plug this guy into here, which is my micro USB. Um, I'm not sure exactly if this will kick in automatically or what. We'll find out in a minute. <clears throat> Maybe it'll do something. Read this uh, plug into the US Android device. Should not be with USB OTG function. Visit Google Play Store, search and download the free of charge Pad TV, Pad TV HD app for your Android device. Okay, so I have to go to the App Store. But even though it's free, um, go to the settings, scan channels, choose your country. You will get all digital channels. In order to get better perf uh, performance under poor reception, uh, please use rod antenna instead of telescoping antenna. Um, okay. So I need to look up Pad TV, Pad TV HT, HD, HTD TV. Can't even talk. <clears throat> All right. Is okay. Instagram messages. I need to go to the Play Store and set this up. Uh, so I won't do this on camera. Um, I'll get this all set up and then film it again for you guys. 
but we'll get into my other stuff while this uh, thing loads so I'll put him off to the side there with the instructions so that's kind of cool if it works it allows me to watch TV and maybe let's say I have a crappy solar day and my batteries are too low to even use I could just fire up a tablet watch a little bit of TV and go from there so first things first guys um, I bought a outdoor tube tent aluminum coated insulates body heat for extra warmth warmth that's that uh, uh, rigid silver stuff that doesn't rip um, orange color 23 feet of rope four piece uh, nine inch zinc plated carbon steel tent pegs can be used as a shelter ground cover emergency blanket etc which is nice <clears throat> paid $19.95 for this thing 82 inches by 30 uh, 36 inches um, yeah so I'll be testing this out trying that uh, also got uh, emergency sleeping bag 36 inch width 84 inches long heavy duty reusable retains body heat aluminized material like this one over here uh, drawstring carry case tear resistant um, so open this up And it's reusable and in a nice little baggie. It's basically that. Um, it's more of a rigid survival blanket than you would buy um, normally. So, like the cheapo ones that I showed you guys before, and that cover the walls of the tiny house. So, I'm going to explore this one as well. I have to do a couple videos here. Um, I picked up a couple knives guys because I got a lot of response from and this whole packet the total for the knives and the two uh, survival blankets basically um, was uh, $60 uh, might be a little pricey for you guys but um, when I go to a surplus store it's rare and um, I like to get this stuff um, and I needed a knife anyway and some of that better survival blanket gear for the bug out bag anyway so I'll show you my first two knives these are kind of a cheap cheapy knives this is a Wartec 1295 it costs 12 bucks uh, this one costs pretty much the same thing I'll show you this guy first um, now this I, I bought this because people were saying well um, obviously my survival knife is not going to cut it and you're going to need something a little better so obviously I picked this guy up so it comes with this little uh, sheath belt clip I can put on there it's pr it's actually pretty rugged material there's I here's the knife here it's got a uh, I don't know why the tip has a protector on it this knife if you can see the blade goes all the way down and has a little pull string which I'll be replacing with paracord because this material sucks it has um, heavy-duty uh, screws so uh, hex screws in both sides to hold that blade in place feels really good in the hand it has uh, the um, you know the ridges on here so you're not gonna slip and uh, I like it I, and you can use these other things for um, anything you want it's got all these different holes so you can um, obviously use it for anything it's stainless made in China um, it's the, also the same brand Wartec as my uh, very first sur knife that I bought which is a sur survival knife <laughs> And that looks like a damn sharp blade on there, guys. Uh, that's that's pretty nice. I'm 
I'm pretty happy for $12. Uh, yeah, that's what we call a keeper right there. I'll do some tests with it and do a, some videos for you guys on that. Um, don't really need the box. And uh, I guess 870571 may be the model number for this. Don't hold your breath on that. We don't know for sure. Here's the other knife I bought. Um, oh, silica gel packs. Can keep those for other items. And this is not a Wartech knife. Come, it's a lot bigger, as you can tell. Um, it has a nice uh, straight. This is more of a straight, straight uh, sheath. And this is more like a Kurika. Kurika? Kuri, Kurika? Or whatever the, however the hell you pronounce it. Um, this is Buckshot Knives. It needs to be cleaned up a bit. But this is a full tang. Uh, knife handles nice and tight. Need, I need to clean this up for some reason. It's got like silica powder or something. Maybe this is one of the silica bags busted open. Um, yeah, so this is kind of a little different looking um, knife. More of a the blunt, uh, the brunt of the blade, I should say, is on the top, first top half here. And you can go crazy like that. Um, feels nice in the hands. Just a plain wooden uh, handle on that. And that's 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 some nice stuff. You can rest your thumb on top. You're not risking cutting your fingers because it's got this safety edge here. Um, yeah, that's a that's a nice thing. So you, I'm gonna have to try these guys out. Um, this one needs a good cleaning. I don't know if it's, it was just because it came from China and the poor packaging or whatever. But So I got the survival knives here, guys. Pull that one out, show that again. Um, we got the uh, emergency blanket. That's This is like a high-end survival blanket that's not going to tear and rip on you as easy as... The cheap stuff that you see out there even though the cheap stuff does work it does reflect the heat very well and then we'll bust out my uh, tube tent here uh, it's in a giant ziploc bag which is interesting there's that guy so Of trash to throw away and this guy comes with tent pegs and really crappy cordage which will not be used and replaced with paracord that I already have and if I open this guy up um, let's see if I can show off what the interior looks like It's pretty large. This this is probably going to replace my tarp. I'm guaranteeing that. May keep the tarp though just on hand as a kind of a backup thing. Okay, so let's see. I'm not quite sure where the aluminized uh, material is. Unless it's covered over. Am I missing something here? Or did I get a dud? Okay. So it's just completely orange. I don't see any radiant barrier. However, it claims there's one. Huh. 
Look at the picture here, guys. Oops. Outdoor tent, orange in color. The aluminized inside it seems to be aluminum coated interior. Insulates for body heat. Except, where is it? Um. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, totally set it up and check. I'll have to do that. But anyway, I'll check that, do another video. Um, it doesn't look like, from the layers I see here, there is no interior aluminum. That's weird. I may have been robbed on that one, guys. Um, but I can still use it as a waterproof tarp. And the material could be um, s sewn in to the material, the orange material, which I think it is. It's, um, it feels like there's, you know, it feels like it's in there. So um, this obviously would be better than an act just a tarp, just a blue black tarp, whatever you find anyway. So that will be going in the bug out bag along with this guy the bag I do not think the tent poles or this are and obviously the knives will be going in as well so that'll increase the weight of the bag a little bit but I'll do an update video on that when that time comes all right we'll see you on the next one guys